wheel spin. Oh, it's close. All right, we're doing our first loop in the loaded GMC. So far, the two trucks are behaving similar on well, what the trip meters are saying, right? Yeah. For 2020, heavy-duty truck manufacturers are claiming bigger towing capacities over 30,000 pounds. But what does that mean in the real world? Well, yeah, what kind of fuel economy these big beasts get? Now, we got a little better ratios, the Ford 355, and we got a 342 and the GMC. But will the 10-speed help? Will all those things help? We hope it does. We're going to find out to 30,000 pounds. And that's what I really like about this loop, the MPG loop, is nobody else does this. Nobody else tested loaded trucks, loaded trailers like we do. And that's important, and it's expensive. But it's a good thing to know because who else knows that? The EPA doesn't care. They don't rate these trucks. But TFL Truck does. We're going to put them on our highway loaded loop and find out the real deal. We're going to fill up on diesel and DEF, diesel exhaust fluid. We're going to measure both. Diesel is first. And we got high flow nozzles. Thirty seconds. We need to top off. Let the fuel settle, and then just top off. Is it thirty seconds yet? It is now. A big high pressure pump. Oh yeah. Look at this. Diesel exhaust fluid. Let's see how much we use on our loop. And take a look at this. Two ninety two for a gallon of DF and about 304, you can't see that now, but so almost the same price. Yeah, for water. Okay. We're all good, all right, let's go. I got your water all over my gloves. All right, we're doing our first loop in the loaded GMC. Yes. Um, cruise control set, right? Cruise control is set. Tow haul mode's on. Exhaust brake is on. Yep. Uh -huh. I'm guessing tenth gear now. I could be in seventh gear. It's hard to say. Nobody knows. Yeah, it doesn't tell us. GM trucks don't tell you. No. Unless you go manually and count the, the, yeah, in the count, low range. Yeah. Here's a good snack. Ball. There's Mr. Truck. The trucks are getting bigger and more capable, and today we're using the biggest gooseneck trailer we've ever used. This is the Iron Bull 40-foot deck, and I'll let Mr. Truck tell you more about the trailer and what we're hauling today. Well, it's the Gotland season. We got the cool stuff, and we got a 40-foot trailer made. It's an Iron Bull, but it's made by Northstar down in Texas. And we got it from Jayhawk Trailers, the dealer we picked it up from. They help us get it all set up and they sell them locally, but this has got two 10,000 pound drop jacks, two speed jacks, I like that. It's 12 inch IB frame, it's heavy duty stuff. And this one, you know, it's got black wood on, it gives you a little bit of traction in regular wood, lasts a little longer. But this has also got a torque tube underneath, a big round tube that keeps it from flexing, so it's actually an off-road trailer you can use in an oil field. And it's got all the tie downs and rev rails, and on the other side it's got these strap holders, which you can move around, just like a real semi does. It's got cool ramps. Too. Those are rampage ramps, not grown ramps. Oh. Rampage ramps. Look at that man go. Escar go. Drop it on your foot on it. They're spring loaded, so they're actually not too bad. So it's it's really awesome, and we got an awesome cargo on here. I'll let Andre tell you all about the cat we're hauling around. It's a big cat. We're hauling this brand new next generation mini excavator. It's a cat. It's a 308. And we weighed the cat and the trailer for a total of 30,000 pounds we're hauling today. The truck is a bit bouncy. It is, and I've never seen one of these this rough. Usually their, their, their axles in the back are smoother than this. I'm not sure what the problem is, but this has been shaking the heck out of us. Yeah, this Weight. is the heaviest that we've ever really towed on an MPG. Well, yeah, and this Chevy, your last model, was 23,000 max. Yes, right. So it's gone way up, and now it's competitive as far as trailer towing. Well, I'm really glad we're getting this real-world number. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. Uh, you know, everybody can tout those big towing numbers, but yeah. how much money can you spend? You know, what what's your fuel economy, and how much are you spending in fuel? That's what we want to know.
this heavy duty comparison is so close because these trucks are optioned up to within about $700 of each other. The GMC is a fully loaded Denali at just over $81,000. The Ford F-350 is a King Ranch and it's optioned all the way up to about $82,000. And their payload and towing numbers are within just a couple hundred pounds as well. The uh, Denali, the GMC, is rated at 5,207 pounds of payload, right? Pretty nice. Yeah. And good. the Ford is just over that, 5,314. So like 100 pounds separate them. That is close. Now, the big question on towing capacity between the Denali and the King Ranch, which, what's that do? 31,100 on the GMC, 31,300 on the Ford. Cow. So 200 pounds difference. I know, that is such a good comparison, but how do you get that 37,000 pound trailer towing capacity that Ford's bragging about? Where does that come from? Well, you gotta get an F450 single cab, two door, with a two wheel drive, and the diesel, of course, and we don't have that. We have luxury trucks. The trip meter says 7.2. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to see about 6.5. I'm yeah. hoping. So let's see what the uh, the actual result will be. Well, yeah. And usually coming back as that peel, I thought it dropped off, but it actually got better. Really? So it's a strange phenomenon going huh. on here. Okay. So using the map, it's 66 mile loop. Divide by 9.608. Final result, look at this, 6.87, basically 6.9. Hey, it's pretty close to what the computer said. Semis are doing right about that. That's, you know, that their maximum capacity. All right, let's do the DF fluid measurement. Put some water in it. All right, so the final depth result is 0.356. Obviously, it's just a short loop. But let's calculate what that means and let's compare how the Ford does. Aha! Uh -huh. According to this, about 185.4 miles per gallon of depth fluid using, uh, well, maximum weight here, 30,000 pounds. So that means it would go 185 miles on one gallon? Of uh, depth fluid, wow. yes. And we have about, I believe, about seven gallons of depth. We're gonna run good old fashioned drag race. So Andre, which truck do you want? I want the GMC. All right, I'll take the Ford. Kent, would you start us? Well, certainly, and I want a fair fight. No punching <laughs> below the belt, none of that stuff. No bad mouthing each other, be nice. You may be wondering, why are we drag racing dualies? Andre, why are we drag racing dualies? Because when you're merging on the highway with that 30,000 pound trailer, you wanna know how fast it is. Well, nah, because it's fun. I thought everybody drag raced dualies. This is new? Think about this number, 1,050. That's how much torque this new Super Duty puts out. And with 475 horsepower, a 10 speed, and four tires in the back. I've got this in the bag, simply because this is the most powerful pickup in its class. I am a bit of an underdog in this race because I don't have as much torque. This is still the same 6.6 .6 liter Duramax turbo diesel V8 that's been around for a couple years. It produces 445 horsepower and 910 pound-feet of torque, but the transmission is new. It is now the 10-speed Allison branded transmission. I'm going to be thinking light thoughts and I'm going to be using all my skill to try to take that Ford down. You know what, uh, before I came here, um, I made sure that most of the fuel was gone, so I'm the most lightweight possible. Really? Well, I'm down to a quarter tank as well. I'm like an eighth of a tank. I think you could take all the gas out of both trucks, put them in this one, and I would still beat you. Aye, aye, aye. All right, let's do it.
You know what we learned there? What? The Kent doesn't know how to start a race. Correct. Right? Because I, I didn't know what we were starting. There was like a five minute gap between when his hands were up and when his hands were down. <laughs> I was like, is this a slow motion start? Okay, let's do it again. We gotta do it again. Dude, your hands were in the air so long, we didn't know <laughs> when to build boost. So, so can you just like... Yes, I can. All right, Andre, let's line them up, do it again. Here we go, race number two. That was a fair start. Got a little wheel spin. Oh, it's close. Okay, we had a good takeoff. What? What the? What? No, no. It's close, but here comes the Ford. I think the Ford's got it. Fast. Look at that. 7.75. 7.75. 0 to 60. That was a good one, Andre. Well, I had a good start, but you just went by me. Yeah, I think I beat you by nose. 7.75. You were probably more like 7.85. It was so close. Should we do it again? Do you want to swap trucks or anything? Hey, right, we'll swap trucks and then uh, you take the uh, slow deal. You would. Uh, and y'all take it because I'll be in the GMC and see what that one does. All right. As always, we're here at IMI Motorsports, our test track. Check them out using the link below. They have the largest outdoor go kart track in Colorado and also 120 acres of off road playground. Check them out. All right, here we go. I am in the GMC. All right, I'm all set up in the Ford. I do have my solo DL mounted so we can see how fast this one is from 0 to 60. Oh, Andre got the jump. I think I got a pretty good start. Come on, GMC. The duel is rolling. Come on. Oh, he killed me. That Ford was flying. Well, we know the answer, Andre. I think the Ford seems to be faster. Let me tell you what the time was. 8.66, Andre, which means that the Ford is almost a uh, second faster. Well, once this big uh, power truck pulls up, it's just, it's just no stopping it. Boys, I gotta say, uh, seven and a half seconds and eight and a half seconds, zero to 60 at a mile above sea level for two big boy trucks. It's pretty incredible, wouldn't you say, Andre? Yeah, heck yeah, they weigh almost 9,000 pounds a piece. That's really cool. Well, turbo diesels, they're just getting faster and faster. It's amazing how fast they are. All right, hazards, good. Good. Brakes, good. Left, good. Right, good. Yes. sun goes down in the winter, it goes down. <laughs> it goes down, it's dark fast. That's anyway. a bad thing, it's cold too, yeah. Anyway, but here we are in the Ford F-350. 
and the ride is actually similarly rough. It is. I would say just slightly better, but not much. But it, uh, suspension squatted in a similar fashion. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. We're not riding on bump steps. You know, we double check. Uh, right now, what does the trip meter say? Uh, it shows seven point three miles to the gallon, and fifty-three point four miles. Okay, so let me just show that. Yep. So. Of course, we're towing a big trailer and a big truck, so we've got to be all CDL legal. And we don't have to do a logbook here because we're within 150 miles of our headquarters. But I do do an inspection report, which means I go through here and check out everything about the trailer and the truck and check it all off and I put the odometer reading and the day's date. And that way, if we pull over, they know we've inspected everything, so we're safe on the road. But the log sheet we do we are supposed to do it back at headquarters at some other time so we can keep track of you know the, the hours we log. But we're being all legal and uh, Andre's still not quite got the full CD. He's kind of a junior truck driver. He's got his permit though and soon he'll have the whole thing. So far the two trucks are behaving similar on well what the trip meters are saying, right? Yeah, yeah, and you know both 10 speed, so it's a very very good comparison. Yeah, here's the other thing. So the GM trucks, the new heavy duties for 2020, um, they have a 36 gallon fuel tank. Yeah. Uh, diesel as well. Right. And this puppy, this long bed, I mean, it's an eight foot bed dually, Ford F-350 has a 48 gallon tank. Yeah, it does. That's, a that's neat, big. That's a very good size because yeah. usually you're pulling these long distances and you're pulling heavy traders and it takes a lot of fuel. All right, well, let's get back to the uh, pump and get the real number and also check how the DEF fluid usage was. Remove the nozzle. Okay, here we go, high flow. Damage 8.44. Alright, 66 miles divided by 8.442 equals whoa. That, that's huge. That's 7.8. Wow, so this almost this, beat it by one. This is better than the GM truck. Almost by one. Almost by that, one. That's pretty significant. That is. Alright, well uh, let's see how the how much depth we use. Yeah. I don't know how to get this thing pulled out for a semi. This was a number for the GMC on the DF fluid usage, about 185 miles per gallon. Now let's calculate this one, 66 divided by 0.390. 169. So we used a bit more DF fluid in the in the Ford. Oh, we did. Oh, I see. I see your numbers. It was 188 on the GMC. Yeah. Okay. I see. But we got better fuel efficiency. Yeah, and it wasn't that much of DF fluid. I mean, right, right. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to measure this accurately on yeah. the DF because we're yeah. using small amounts. Right, right. But the fuel, we, we saw the usage on the fuel. Yeah. So what we did notice in the Ford, though, uh, it stayed in the overdrive gears and the 10th gear a lot of the time, right? Well, we don't know what the GM did. We guessed, but, you know, it was down there, you know, 16 to 1,800 too. And that's where this is running about 1,600. So we know it was in 10th gear. So I wish we knew what the GM was. I guess sometime we'll start yeah. counting them or trying to guess so what maybe, it is. So maybe the greater torque on this truck in the Ford, you know, 1,050 pound feet of torque yeah. and higher horsepower allowed it to kind of be a little bit more efficient. I mean, that's my guess. I mean, it could be. I mean, everything on these trucks are close, both 10 speeds, axle ratios, weight, payload. I mean, everything's almost right on the dime. So nice. I think, uh, yeah, I think it's an accurate test. All right, guys, you saw it here first. Uh, this is very interesting. We're also gonna do a Ram heavy duty truck a little bit later. Uh, it wasn't available today. Um, and go back to tfltruck.com for more news views and real world truck reviews and where else?
MrTruck.com, home of Dicella, and it's for sale. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and by the way, guys, of course, we have our live show Mondays and Fridays at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. Come by on Friday where we talk trucks. Yes, if we're not doing an MPG loop. <laughs>